beginning to look like Santa came again over there, doesn't it? Hi everybody, cheers! I'm Nancy and welcome to my blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine and Life. And tonight it is all about the coffee. I, I really enjoy my coffee, so let me have a few sips and then put it down. Mmm, so good. So anyway, today is Saturday, the day after Christmas. And so, start of a new blog, new pajamas to start my blog, right? So I'm really loving these ones. I really like the Carol Hawkman, the ones that I got from the beginning at QBC. But then, these Mucklucks came on as like the today's special value, and they had some fairly good prices. So I, you know, I probably bought more than I should have. And I bought them at different times because I was like, oh no, I don't need that many. And then it was like, you know, you'd go on and it's like, oh gee, it's still five easy pays. And oh, they're $28, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, so this is beautiful shade of like a, a nice baby blue. It's like a crew neck top. And again, this really, really soft velour. So cozy and soft and comfortable. The legs on this. And of course you could wear this with regular blue jeans. And who would know, right? And that pants on this so they're that same kind of baby blue and there's pink houses and brown houses and snow topped roofs there's polar bears and christmas trees and snowflakes and it says merry and it says peace and of course i got my mucklucks on so yeah i'm soft and cozy and yeah i just love wearing my pajamas i could do this all day yeah oh i did so yeah yeah the day kind of got away from me i kept been watching so many um, videos and commenting and I got a whole day tomorrow to try to catch up on videos so I'm, I'm really excited about that and as you can see behind me I've got all these boxes they're kind of built up on me <sighs> so anyway um yeah so I was going to try to squeeze um in a little unboxing while I did the vlogmas but then you know I got four giveaways over there that I won and I just didn't feel right mixing it with my vlogmas because I wanted to give those ladies that I won them from, I just wanted to give them a special video, a special thank you, and not trying to rush it through and be looking at the uh, timer on my laptop or whatever, you know, I just, you know, I think they deserve to have their own little video, so I'll be doing that. And I did have so much fun doing my mini vlogmas series with getting to have a special coffee every night and a piece of chocolate, the lint truffles, and a special Scentsy treat. And a glass of wine. Yeah, because, yeah, I love my wine, too. And it was so much fun. And I tried to keep them as short as I could, but sometimes, you know, I did ramble on. And I didn't really add anything to it. I just kind of wanted to, you know, maybe just say a few things about what was going on, whether we had a stupid snowstorm or something like that. And uh, maybe show a little bit of my Christmas decorations. But they were like, some people had the best mini vlogmases ever. So one, and, and, and I'll, I'll link them below, Senior Citizen Sue, if you have not caught her, you have got to catch her. She has, she is just so sweet and she's so funny and she's kind of like, you know, she's just talking normal and then you'll, you'll just, like, did she just say that? It's like, yeah, she's just super funny, but she had done like different recipes and um, yeah, so she just, it was really fun with her, her little puppy Lucy with her bark box or treats and just really really fun and Janie with over flare um over 60 or something like that oh my gosh you know and her you know she had like the full days with jam and her beauty products but you know she'd tell you a little bit about the history of the wreaths and um just a little bit of you know background and things on christmas traditions and things so they were really nice and and still they did all that and they still kept kept their video short i have no idea how they did that you know and then i watched you know a couple that were like 40 or 50 minutes long in their vlogs and it just kind of and as much as I enjoyed it it just kept me from watching other people's and you know so by the time I watched that I could have watched a shorter one and maybe got to watch five other videos and commented on so I think I was just really concerned about my time and keeping it short for everybody so that you didn't feel like overwhelmed because yeah it's a lot trying to keep up with everybody but Anyway, it was really fun, and I, I I hope I can do it again next year. It was really super, super fun. And, um, yeah, so let's see what else is going on. So, you know, I've been, took me forever to do these decorations this year, and I think it's just working like 12 and 13 hour days, and then trying to come home and uh, try to have something to eat without falling asleep on the couch and watching a few videos, and then it's like, oh, I should probably decorate a little bit. So you're probably going to see this stuff here for a while because I'm in no rush to put it away. Yeah. So 
you kind of have to forgive me for that if it's still me and you still see nutcrackers hanging around the house but anyway they're so much fun but i was missing a nutcracker and it was driving me crazy awesome i was i was going nuts so and it was like one of my favorite nutcrackers and it was like yeah so as much as rick always made fun of me and how many nutcrackers do you have and you know blah 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 and why do you why do you like them blah 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 but he would always uh, go out out of his way and buy me some special nutcrackers every year and if he was out riding with his buddies well they weren't really riding anymore in the winter but you know if he was meeting up for coffee or something you never know who he was going to come come home with he would meet people no matter where he went and he just made you know he was very outgoing I, i'm not but he was just so outgoing and he was constantly bringing people i didn't know home and showing them the nutcrackers and things so it was just i knew he he was excited he tried not to show up but he was but um he also worked for a german company and so he would go back to germany a couple of times a year and so when once i started collecting some nutcrackers he bought me one my first german nutcracker and i was like so excited when he came home and i saw him and he had like real bum a real bum and most of them you know it's just like a wooden thing so I was missing him and I had no idea where he was. So while well, well, I had my sleepover friend, Mr. Griffin, and he was out in the backyard trying to find the perfect spot to go piddles. And I did get a picture of him by the tree, so I'll probably try to put that in there somewhere. But uh, while he was out looking for a spot, I went through the empty trunks downstairs because I, I wrapped them all individually in like tissue paper and some bubble wrap. And so I was squishing all it down, trying to find them. And then I saw I had this one trunk that I didn't go through. My trunks are probably maybe two feet high, maybe three feet, three to four feet wide, and I had five of them. So and there was one, and it was where my old Christmas tree was that I threw out one branch at a time because you're really not supposed to throw them out. And so, yeah, and it was like the old ones that were probably like 30 years old. So all the branches had to go in individually. Do you remember those ones? So I throw them out one branch at a time until they were all gone. And I thought, well, I wonder if I put anything in there. You know, if I'm missing one that cracker, I'm probably missing something else too. So I moved all the boxes and sure enough, it was full of nutcrackers and some other decorations. So anyway, then I, I still have some downstairs, but I brought up some of them. So I'm going to try to pan you over and I just put them on the kitchen counter because I don't know what to do with them. I need some more horizontal spots. Okay, so we got the couch and then you can see on the bar over there where the uh, chairs are. So I got some Christmas nutcrackers over there. But the one that I was missing, oh, you're going to love him. He is so, so for you. So anyway, isn't he adorable? So he's got his uh, Oktoberfest bear. He's got some German coins on his belt. He's got little knobby knees and buckles on his shoes. And his little Swiss Alps hat. But look at the back. He's got chica bombs. I th oh my gosh, I just love him. It was it was just so different, and it's like oh, I just love him. So anyway, he was like my first um, Christian Albright one that uh, Rick got for me. So yeah, I love him. And then it was really funny because um, the the owner of the company that he went to see, he was you know Rick was telling him how I just I was getting into the nutcrackers, and so he wanted to bring me uh, one of these you know one from Germany. And so his boss says, oh yeah, we, there's nutcracker places all over here. There's a factory down the street that makes them. So he said, I'll send your wife some. So he sent me like a box of like five nutcrackers. They were all made in Germany. I just thought that was so, I mean, they were all made in China. I thought that was funny. But anyway, so that was fun. And then a couple of days ago, okay, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I lose track of time. But I got an email from Touchstone Crystal that my order was placed. And I'm like, I didn't order anything from Touchstone Crystal. So I thought, I bet the girls bought me something for Christmas. They probably asked Belinda, Belinda, are you still taking some orders? Could I order something? So, you know, I kept my mouth shut because I didn't want to ruin their surprise. And then, uh, you know, I kept waiting for them to mention it, like, oh yeah, you're going to get a package, whatever, but, you know, they never did. And uh, I think it was like two days before Christmas, it came in the mail. And so I put it under the tree and I'm like, hmm. You would think one of them would say, Ma, did you get, did you, because I don't take my mailbox every day, because it's not fun going out there, and, you know, when nothing's there, and, um, didn't mention it. So, Christmas morning, I ripped that bag open, and it was like, it wasn't from either one of my girls. It was from Belinda Conti. I can't believe she did that. So, 
Touched on Crystal by Swarovski. You know, it's like my favorite, favorite, favorite line. So this one, it's um, the Mini Glitz Necklace in Sky color. And I've got this webcam that, it takes a good picture, but it's got a kind of different field of view, but it, it just hooks onto my laptop and it's so much easier than the, the other one that goes onto my ring light. So, but it doesn't like to focus. But I think you can see just how it sparkles. And then you can see there's like dark blue and a light blue. And then the crystal ones, the clear ones, kind of like when you tilt it right, it's like the Aurora Borealis and, and the, so it's just really super, super pretty. And of course it's gonna go with my new pajamas. Yeah, so I love this. I can't believe she did this. I was like, I can't believe it. Oh, she is so sweet. And, you know, I was supposed to go home for Christmas again uh, this year. And so, because I've never met Belinda. And uh, we were going to, like, last year, um, they were doing, like, some kind of penny auction or something. And we were going to go, but she was sick, and we didn't want to go without her being there. So we were going to get together this year, but it didn't happen. But anyway... Can you just see? It just it just sparkles. It is so pretty. Whether you wear it with different shades of blue. It's also got this extender and I just tried to put it short, but you can make it longer if I can find it. So let me see if I can make it longer to see how long it will go. Sometimes my fingers just don't want to work. But you can also wear it a little bit longer like that too. So if you got like a, a scoop neck or something that you'll be able to see it better too. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe she did this. So I didn't get to call and thank her yet, but I wanted to kind of post it and then let her know that I posted it and then, you know, so she can see it too. But anyway, that was so exciting. And I'm starting to go over what I wanted to do. But again, I just want to thank everyone for joining and um, yeah, so I will probably not do anything on Sunday for a vlog. I'm, tomorrow I'm, I'm just going to um, keep plugging away on YouTube and try to catch up with commenting. And I'll probably pop in a few times during the week, but I probably won't be doing it every day just to try to keep it short. So, so thanks everyone for joining me. I really have a blast chit-chatting with you and I hope everyone goes out, has a fantastic week, and we will chat again later. Bye-bye everyone. Hi everyone, happy New Year's Day. So anyway, I am so excited to have you here. And this is just gonna, I hope, just be a few minutes because this is gonna be part of my my weekly vlog and I'm gonna, I wanna come back later on tonight and to vlog with, with some, some kind of proper attire on, you know, for New Year's Eve. But anyway, I'm taking a work break. I am actually working from home again and we had the day off today, but I have so many spreadsheets that I have to work on and yeah, nobody fills in the spreadsheets for me. There's no spreadsheet fairy that comes in the middle of the night and finishes them. So I'm a spreadsheet fairy. I need a hat that says that. But anyway, I am here taking a work break because, yeah, I've kind of lost the will to work. It's hard to work on your day off when uh, everybody else in the office has the day off. And yeah, it's like a holiday. But anyway, I, I, I really don't mind. And I, had the I brought the work home with me. So yeah, what else am I going to do? So anyway, I wanted, but I got hungry. And so, yeah, I wanted to have a cookie, and I've got cookies in my Dollar Tree bag that I got back in, right around Thanksgiving, and I haven't opened it yet. I, I have no idea what kept me from opening it, but I want, I want those cookies. I want them now. So I thought, you know, I'm going to come on and just do a quick little, quick little vlog, and then I'm going to open my Dollar Tree haul so I can have those cookies. And then I thought, well, as long as I'm doing three short little things, I'm going to grab one of my giveaways that I got. And this one is going to be from Jean Louise. So it's the um, brushes that I want from her channel. So I will leave, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that, those little, quick little videos right after. But I just wanted to come on uh, just real quick, say Happy New Year's Eve day, and I will be back later. But I just wanted to, because I am so far behind, and I have no idea how I cannot get caught up. I really thought I was going to put in a full day of watching videos and commenting on YouTube, and then I got sidetracked on spreadsheets. So that's probably going to be the story of my life for a while. So I thought I might do something different, which 
isn't really what I wanted to do on my YouTube channel, but I just feel like when people take time out of the day and they write a really nice comment to me, I just don't want to just do a quick little check check mark in a heart and, and move on to the next one. I just feel like when people take that time, then I want to show them how much I appreciate them and how much it means to me. And so I try to write back really nice comments or so that they know that I read their comment too, you know, and that I appreciate them. But I know I'm far behind and it probably bothers people that I don't respond quicker because we all want to know that we're appreciated. And I want you to know that I do appreciate you, but maybe until I get caught up, and you can always put something down below on how you feel about this too, that maybe I will do the same that, you know, some other uh, YouTube people are doing that, you know, to check it up that I like it, that I love it, and just maybe say thanks, or just something really quick like that. And then once I'm caught up, because one day I, I'm going to be caught up. One day I will. And then I'll go back to commenting like I usually do. So let me know your thoughts below. If it doesn't really bother you that I'm that far behind, then I'll just kind of keep going at this pace. But if it does bother you that I'm not responding quicker, then I'll do something quick like that until I get, get caught up. And because ultimately I'm, you know, I'm only here because you are here for me. And I want you to know how much I appreciate you. And I know everybody's time is valuable. And I don't want you to think that you're wasting it watching my videos and then I'm never going to comment on you. So that that's important to me to know that you know that I appreciate you, that I read your comments, and I really do appreciate it. And that's the only reason that I'm still here is because of your support. So let me know your thoughts on that. I am going to close off and do some quick videos so I can have my cookies. And um, then I'll see you tonight and um, yeah I'm pulling something out of my closet that I don't remember the last time I wore but oh my gosh it has to be 10-15 years ago so maybe even longer than that so we'll see if it still fits and um, if not I'll move to plan B so anyway talk to you guys tonight happy uh, new year so we'll chat later bye bye cheers everyone happy new year can you believe we made it to 2021 this has been a tough year it's been a long year it flew by, but it feels like forever. Like I can't remember what 2019 was all about. So anyway, cheers. I have got my, let's see if I can reach for it. My Rosada Aste Moscato de Aste. It is really good. If you like sweet wines uh, with a little bit of bubbly, this is your drink. So cheers, everyone. So whether you join me with a... Uh, Wine or champagne, coffee, tea, water, juice, it's all the same thing. Cheers, everyone. And I just want to thank everyone for stopping in and joining me. This is how I'm going to be ending my vlog for the week. And I'm just so excited to still be doing these vlogs. And it has just been so much fun getting to talk to you every day. Just about everyday ordinary things. And it's just it's just a, just a fun way to get through the week, just having having you to talk to, your support, it's amazing. Um, I could not do these without you, and I appreciate you all so much. I hope wherever you are, you are happy, you're safe, you're healthy, and, um, you know, and I know it's really tough, but if you don't have anyone with you and you want to talk, I'm always here. Um, I don't know how to do, like, a Zoom type of thing, but if you do something and invite me, I would love to, to sit and chat with you so you're not alone. Um, I know it's a time, time, time for so many people. And um, I just want to try to help as many people as I can. Whether it's putting on crazy get-ups or doing silly things. That's who I am. So, yeah, so anyway, this dress. I, I actually wore this to a party in 1999. It was my second uh, work party here. And I'm with the same company. I've kind of outlived a few of the owners. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sad. But anyway, um, the original owners, they like to do festive Christmas parties. And, um, you know, a lot of the, the guys' wives, they would get their hair done like updos, like prom style type things and ball gowns and things like that. And, of course, now it's 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 fun. It's, you know, and that was okay. But now it's fun. It's relaxed. It's something that you can just go and you can be yourself. But... So anyway, I was inspired, um, Kayla, from Kayla's Closet, and I'm sure everybody knows her. She had done a challenge um, this week for 
uh, picking some items that she would do if she was going to be doing a Zoom New Year's Eve party with, with friends. So she picked some outfits that she would wear if it was just going to be a casual little daytime thing, talking to a few people, and then kicked it up a notch or two for, you know, a more festive type atmosphere. And I thought, oh, that's really fun. And I thought, I don't have anything in my closet that I could do that with. And so then I was thinking, hmm, I wonder if that dress still fits me. I said, yeah, it probably doesn't. And I thought, well, you know, if it doesn't fit, then it's a good time to try it on and put it in goodwill. So anyway, I love this dress. So we work for, um, the, the, the machines we sell are made in Japan. And so our vendors are Japanese. So when they come over, I just, and they were coming to the party that year. Uh, some of the, uh, the owners from Mazak in uh, Japan were coming. And I, I saw this and I thought, this is, this, this is perfect, right? I just thought it had kind of like a Japanese feel to it without being insulting. So I hope I'm still not insulting people. But anyway, so this, it's, it's like black velvet and it's got all kinds of like gold embroidery on it. And then it's got, got like copper and gold sparkles in it. And I just thought it was perfect. And it's, so it is, you know, short sleeves and I got these nifty little shoulder pads and this is kind of big. So I've got it bobby pinned. I got it bobby pinned in the back. It's just not for hair. It's for dresses. And of course I got my touchstone crystal by Swarovski on and my Swarovski earrings. And I got these readers on that I got from Walmart for like $9.99. I think they dress it up a bit too. But anyway, it's floor length. And uh, it's got splits on both sides. But just so you know that I'm just an average, I'm still myself, I'm not going out crazy. I got my pajama bottoms on underneath. Yeah, it's, it's the best. You can dress up at home and nobody has to know what you're wearing underneath. Oh, except I told you I'm, I'm wearing pajama bottoms. So anyway, I just want to thank everyone again. Um, I'm just going to close out this vlog by wishing you the best for the new year. And thank you all for joining me. And uh, yeah, so we will chat again soon. Good luck. Have a great year, everyone. Bye-bye.